Hello everyone, this is a short video abstract of my Azure Crypt 2022 paper General Properties of Quantum Bit Commitments. I'm Jun Yan from Jinan University. The story begins with, since our world is quantum, we can ask the following motivating question. Can we base unconditional quantum cryptography solely built on principles of quantum mechanics? Stephen Wiesner might be the first person to explore this possibility. Back in early 1970s, he first studied quantum money. Inspired by Wiesner's idea, two primitives ending with different fates were intensively studied in early days of quantum crypto. The first prim primitive is quantum key distribution. Burnett and Brassard, and independently Erk have proposed two slightly different protocols. Both of them can be shown unconditionally secure. The second uh, primitive is quantum bit commitment. There are many proposed schemes. However, all of them were finally broken. The security of QBC is finally settled in middle 90s. Mayors and independently, Law and Chow finally proved that Quantum bit commitment is impossible. This is a big blow to ambitious researchers in quantum crypto. Since then, a QBC seems dead. In the subsequent two decades, there, there was little progress towards a QBC until recently, a QBC revives. But in a different human sense, that is, we compromise to introduce computational hardness study computational QBC. This is ironically in contrast to the original motivation of studying quantum crypto unconditionally. However, this is actually the starting point of this work. Uh, specifically, uh, this work proposed to base quantum crypto on com computational QBC or its two equivalent complexity theoretical objects. There are several exciting and somewhat surprising results are obtained towards this research direction in this and its follow-up work. Now let me go into some detail. Seeing from the complexity theoretical perspective, computational QBC induces two clean and simple-to-state complexity theoretical objects that turn out to be equivalent. The first object is a pair of efficiently generated quantum states that are computationally indistinguishable but statistically distinguishable. It is called EFI in a follow-up work. The second object can be viewed as the computational negation of Wuhrmann's theorem. Uh, we just call it Wuhrmann. We propose to study computational QBC or equivalently EFI or Wuhrmann as the basic complexity assumption in MiniQCrypt uh, based on the following uh, reasons. First, prior and this work show that computational QBC is both sufficient and necessary for several important primitives, including quantum zero knowledge and quantum oblivious transfer. And more recent work extend results further along this line of research. Second, EFI has a classical counterpart that is well known equivalent to one-way functions. Third, QBC or EFI or Wuhrmann is weaker than two other candidate complexity assumptions in MiniQCrypt, namely uh, quantum secure one-way functions and pseudo-random quantum states. Fourth, our study indicates that definitions of computational QBC or EFI or Wuhrmann are quite robust. Several interesting equivalences among different variants of them can be established. In this last picture, we summarize equivalences we have established uh, in this work. Uh, they are represented by these red and uh, orange arrows. Uh, this picture also summarizes our current knowledge towards uh, exploring basic complexity assumption in MiniQCrypt. crypt. That's all what I want to say. Thanks for your listening.